Hey everybody, and welcome to Into the Terminal. Today, we're gonna to be talking about bash scripting. Let's jump on into the terminal, and we'll start off with some handy one-liner commands that we can build as scripts. One of the ones I use all the time is to find where large files are, especially when my server or desktop is close to being disk full. Let me just show you, I use du, and then you can give du a specific directory and it'll do every subdirectory recursively throughout this chain. By starting it off at slash, it'll actually look over the entire system. If it was my personal system, I'd probably look in like my home directory as the starting location. So it'll tell me where all those files are stored. So it goes through and it shows me all the files. We can instead sort them. So instead of getting just all the files as we find them, sort will order things. And I pass two arguments, R and N. I want it to do a reverse sort. So show me the biggest things first, because by default, it'll show you the smallest things first. And then an N says, treat this thing as a number. By default, sort will do a character comparison. So because the thing I want to sort on is that first column, which is numeric, that's what the N flag tells sort to do. All right, so there we go. There's all the stuff on my system. But notice it scrolled by really quickly. So we could do another pipe to maybe look at it one page full of time. But because we're looking for big files, I just like to send that to the head command, which shows you the top portion of something. And I'll limit it further and say, only give me the top 20 lines. Dash N is the number of lines that you want head to show you. And so here we go. These are the top most used places where files reside or the biggest directories where files reside. One of the weird things is that everything rolls up to slash. So of course that's first. And then var has a directory underneath of it, which is var log. So really var logs files also count against var, which also count against slash. So there's a little bit of reading that has to go on here. If we look in var log, which is our third largest location of files, what we can see is one file is bigger than all the others. Conveniently named too. So we can remove it. And then when I rerun my same du sort with top 20, what we'll notice is that var isn't in that top section anymore because the files are using less storage, essentially. I use this all the time for like, my file system is close to full. Let's see where those files are and are there any I can delete to free up some disk space back again. And there's a really handy flag for du that'll tell it how deep to go. So you could say only go depth one, and then it'll show you in the current directory what each subdirectory consumes. And then you're like, oh, var is the big one. Go into var and do the same thing. And then it'll show you subdirectories there and you can sort through and follow the trail that way. Sometimes it's a little, little easier than showing everything. But what we're demonstrating is that like in that one line of command, right? We actually ran several commands and hooked them together with pipes to take right. the output from one into the input of the next and take the output of that one after we make some changes to it and take it to the input of the next where we can make even further changes or maybe look at only a subset. So this is at a very basic level, shell scripting. 